All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're ready. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the new release 2024 Netflix Swedish disaster film called The Abyss. Originally, it was released in other countries in 2023. Uh, here's the plot. As the Swedish town of Karina sinks, Frigga finds herself torn between her family and her job as, as security chief at the world's largest underground mine. Now here are some of the casts. I got to say, the sound design with the loud, deep rock rumbling was pretty top tier, along with all the top, the, the typical practical cave effects. The CGI was noticeable, but wasn't too bad, but the prop department and makeup artists did a fantastic job with the injuries. Now, the character chemistry with some of them, uh, some of the characters was interesting, and it's Kind of a little bit of question mark on there. Uh, I found Frigga to be funny at times with the dead panning comedy. However, I did find it funny but also questionable with the first introduction to her and her daughter's relationship. Now, the only thing about this film I hated was the ex-husband's character. Dude was a completely uh, prick and flat out overdoing it with his jealousy. Outside of the ex-husband, the, the character's stories was well-rounded and the story was simple but was well written with some slightly intense intenseness i definitely appreciate the lack of cgi that was used throughout the, this film the most out of anything most of it was like pure physical or not physical um practical effects the sets and then when it wasn't that was a set in the uh the, the villages or towns or we would call them and they added some CGI, like smoke and stuff and dust and stuff and some cracks. That's really about it, about the CGI. But here's my right now, come back to my final thoughts. So what are your thoughts? Leave them down below. However, I do highly recommend this film. Uh, again, it was... Kind of your standard run in the mill, but it also had some stuff to it that that stood out, you know, compared to your standard average average you know uh, earthquake type of film, um, like San Andreas. I think it was called. Um, this was definitely, in my opinion, way better than that. And uh, I think there's a sequel, but yeah, uh, I highly recommend it. It's it's really good. Now I would recommend that you, and you probably already do this. But I highly recommend you don't use the dub. Because the dubbing was a bit, at times, with some of the characters, was a bit, you know, uh, off. So, and I'm not really judging that. Because, in general, either way, I turn, I have to have the dubbing on for me per personally. So, I automatically disclude that in the reviewing. Um, but I have it on, and then I have the subtitles on. So, it, uh, you know, this kind of makes sense. Because there's certain parts in movies, in general where the sound overlaps it or you they're like saying something in the background and either way you can't hear them so i i personally will have the subtitles on no matter what at this point so um but yeah so remember i love you all please stay safe i hope hope something to have help hope to have something out friday or saturday i do have two things in mind but they're both coming out on friday on itunes so they're very exciting i'll have an update on that However, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Remember to spread the love most importantly. Skull.